Hello, good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this webinar. Uh, great opportunity. It's a collaboration webinar uh, between Strusoft and Idea Sterica, two software companies, and we have a special guest today uh, from Rumble Design Office. And we will talk about the Bimling and cooperation between the application of FEM design and Idea Sterica checkbot and connection. So it will be all about steel structures and steel connections. So let's introduce ourselves. Uh, my pleasure to have uh, Klaus Jensen here, structure engineer from Rumble. Klaus, how are you today? Good, Adam. I'm, with us. For, I'm here. I'm here. Thanks for having us. That's great. Okay, and next to this, there is Akos uh, Rektoris, structure engineer as well, uh, but on the side of a software um, producer from Strusoft. So Akos, how about you? Fine, thanks. I'm ready to start. Okay, that's Bye. great. We are all ready. And for myself, my name is Adam. I'm from Idea Starica. And also from a structure engineer. So that's a great engineering um, group, what to say. So let me continue with the agenda today. We will have about 60 minutes for this webinar. And we will first introduce what we do, uh, both uh, software companies, then we will uh, hand over to show you the workflow overview. How does it work, the cooperation between these two uh, softwares? Then we'll show you live demos on how to uh, handle some situations, how to do the job. And then we will hand uh, over the presenter to Klaus, who will tell us uh, his experience from the daily job as a structure engineer using these two softwares and his insights and remarks. And then we will close the webinar and thank you for you being here with us today. So that's it. And for me, uh, let's start with my part of the presentation, introducing Idea Statica. As I said, uh, I work for Idea Sterica for six years as a product engineer. So my job is to provide all the technical support, um, all the um, preparation of webinars, meeting you at conferences. Uh, we talk to other developers what to improve and so on. So just a little about this and let's talk about what we do. So Idea Sterica. A uh, few of you know, probably, we are a software producer located in Czech Republic. And what we do is that we provide the world leading solution for um, design of structure details, such as steel connections, concrete details, and critical members. There are some numbers below that we are pre present pretty much all over the world. We have now more than 6,000 customers and are linked to uh, pretty much a couple of softwares with our BIM links, uh, FEM Design being one of them, of, the, of course, something to be proud of. And uh, what, how we started about 30 years uh, ago, that was the core team started with programming uh, structural uh, designing software. And that's what we stick to up to now. Idea Starica as a software package. Let's see where it is as a, as a tool in the world of engineering software or structure engineering software. What we focus on is the structure details. So we focus on steel connections, uh, discontinuity regions in concrete structures, as, and so on. And we don't deal with the global structure model. This is where uh, FEM design um, shines. So we actually cooperate with this and other producers. So this is where we fit ourselves into this world to be a, a global leader in providing structural details software or solution. 
uh, as for uh, the perspective of engineering or engineer's toolkit, a typical structural engineer would have the global structural analysis uh, software such as FemDesign, then perhaps some CAD solutions such as Tecla or Revit, and then what he needs as well is something for do the code checks of the details and this is where idea Statica is for so this would be the idle toolkit of a structural engineer and uh, why are we so successful with our software it's uh, thanks to this patent that we have and something that we developed and that we are proud of and what we called component-based finite element model, in shortcut CBFEM. And this is basically a combination of a component model, very well and very um, very well known and very used uh, approach how to um, model and analyze and code check steel connections. But this, um, let's say, technology or approach has um, quite some limitations, mainly in the geometry, topology, in the um, types of designs you can um, code check with this approach. And this is why we incorporated finite elements and together these two methods provide an ultimate solution where you have almost absolute freedom in what you can model and what you can code check and analyze. So this is incorporated in our uh, applications. And what is our mission? So Idea Sterica is here in this world to, to be and stay the, the primary product or producer uh, for structure engineers to do the code checks and to provide software that is fully integrated into the workflows with your FEA and CAT. Uh, application softwares and we want to become the the most comfortable and the best, so best solution for for this job all right that's for the introduction of uh, the company I work for and I will now switch presenter to Akosh and he will continue with his part about TrueSoft Thank you, Adam. My name is Akos Rektoris. Uh, I'm a product manager at Strusoft and responsible for the integrity uh, development of FEM design. I'm a structure engineer by profession and I have been working for more than 20 years in the development and improvement of beam based collaboration between design disciplines. I'm one of the founders and evangelists of the Open Beam movement and one of the shapers of the IFC and SCF standards in theory and in practice. Allow me to briefly uh, introduce our company, SUSOFT, where I have more than uh, 240 colleagues in 19 uh, international offices, mainly in Europe. We are developing several design software for structural engineers, and uh, now you can see the most well-known ones. Among them, the most popular and successful software is FEM Design, which we develop in Hungary, Budapest. We have more than uh, 10,000 users and are proud to be the market leader in Scandinavia. FEM design is an analysis software for linear and nonlinear tasks, statics and dynamics. With the exception of aluminum, you can design structures of all materials, for example, cast in situ and precast concrete, steel, composite, timber, cross-laminated timber structures, masonry, and foundations. We are ready to work with any architectural or structural software available in our markets. We are open beam fanatics and supporters, so FEM design supports many open standard based and uh, direct uh, connection. Among them, uh, the today's webinar describes in detail the intelligent connection between FEM design and Adia Statica, released in uh, February. This uh, connection allows us to send in 3D steel structures or even just selected connected members modeled and designed in FEM design as intelligent input for detailed design, verification, and optimization of steel connections with Adia Statica. 
First, uh, let's give a brief in overview of the work process and steps of this uh, connection. The starting model of the steel structure or mixed structure itself can come from any beam modeling software, thanks to IFC, SCF, or direct connections, or from parametric modelers, for example, Grasshopper, Dynamo, or from external programming or, or database. Or they can be created with FAM Design's modeling tool from scratch or based on CAD uh, drawings. We can then build the final analytical model by completing it with the supports, the element connections, and with a 3D soil model if required by the given task. When uh, we create the loads manually or automatically, such as the surface or the wind or the snow acting on the building cover or called the building envelopes or the deviation, the seismic and the dynamic loads, then we can assign uh, these loads to load groups uh, from which load uh, combinations can be automatically generated. We can then run the analysis calculations and check the utilization of the steer bars for the given uh, design data, their cross-sections and materials. Or we can optimize their dimensions uh, and materials for each limit state according to Eurocode regulations. In addition to the steer design results, we also get the internal forces, of course, uh, for the bars from the selected uh, load combinations from both linear and nonlinear calculation. These forces can be shared with Ideostatica to design the bar connections. Finally, we need to determine uh, which bar connections joints we want to share with Ideostatica for detailed design and documentation. The transfer of the data is done between FAM design and Ideostatica checkbot, and in two possible ways via a live direct connection, if both programs are available on the computer, or via a dedicated file, if the two programs run on separate computers. In the case of a live connection in FAM design, we can select which installed Idea Static version we want to work with and enter the name of the project. The connection works with Idea Static 22 and the new 23. In the case of file sharing, we use an open source Excel-based format, the so-called SCF, or Structural Analysis Format, intended for storing and sharing analytical models. Thanks to its Excel nature, its structure and uh, content are easy to understand. During both connections, the following data are transferred. The selected nodes, joints, the bars connected to the nodes, and the characteristics of the bars, so their position, including eccentricity, geometry, cross-sections, and material. And, of course, the internal forces calculated from load cases and or selected load combinations. The matching between the cross-section and the material databases of the two software is done automatically on the FAM design side via an Excel file that we can easily edit if there are unmatched FAM design cross sections, they are exported with a parametric description based on which idea Statica creates the same cross sections. In both uh, connection modes, it is possible to decide whether to transfer the entire analytical model or only the selected connections and their members. And uh, then the steel connections loaded and displayed in checkbot can be designed in the uh, usual way, which means uh, selected nodes can be opened, examined, detailed, and documented with Idea Statica connection based on connection templates and configurations, as well as the optimization of fabrication and raw material costs. Of course, uh, it is possible to design not only the connections between bars, but also the bar end connections at the supports. Let me talk about the data synchronization. In case of the live connection, a single click updates the input of the Idea Statica connection design based on changes in the linked FAM design model. So if we change the loads, the material qualities, or the cross-sections in the FAM design model, here in the picture, the I-shape profile of a column to a closed section, 
and we rerun uh, the analysis. Then by clicking a sync button in chatbot, uh, the model and the calculation results, uh, the internal forces will be updated in the idea statica project too. Now let's see the connection workflow live in practice. I show you FemDesign. I, I got this project from a client. Uh, he uh, created the analytical model based on a beam model. And uh, I would like to show you uh, the steps uh, how we can build up uh, a model ready uh, for the ideal static uh, connection. When the analytical model members are created from the BIM model, or you can use the, the BIM tools of FAM design, so you can create BIMs, columns, uh, plates, uh, and, and so on, you can extend the model, for example, with foundation, uh, and also the 3D model of the soil. You can define it with uh, different uh, ground layers, strata, and uh, groundwater level. Then we can define the foundations, as mentioned, the supports, and if needed, for example, uh, connections between the elements. We can apply also surface uh, distributed loads on beams and wind braces, thanks to the cover objects. Using them, FEM design automatically distributes surface loads assigned to them to bars. Then I could go to the loads and uh, as you see, the client created different loads. Uh, the program automatically calculates the surface, of course. You can define a live load uh, manually, for example. Or you can uh, create uh, climate loads, such as uh, snow load and, and wind components, based on wizards and using the, the coverings as a, a climate uh, panel uh, objects. Of course, the simple loads can be extended with temperature loads, stress loads, support motions, dynamic loads, including, for example, the seismic uh, loads or uh, moving loads or, or deviation. The loads are stored in load cases, then you can assign them to, to load groups. And if I select, for example, one load group here, you can see that based on the, the, the safety factor and the, the relationship, it's alternative or simultaneous, the program can automatically generate all the necessary load combinations, as you see here. And we are ready with, with the load combinations. Uh, and then, uh, although FEM design is a finite element analysis software, the finite element mesh itself is created automatically and with uh, element size optimized for the object sizes, shapes, and connections. Of course, if you want, you can manually control and build up uh, the recommended finite element mesh. And uh, here you see that the, with the help of FEM design, we can uh, perform different design depending on the structural materials. Now in this presentation, we, we focus on uh, steel design. The minimum calculation requirement for the ideal static connection is to run an analysis and for load combinations. So I pick uh, load combinations and we can select uh, here in the next uh, table uh, for which load combinations we want to design and so of which combination we want to share the internal forces with ideal static. I select only two combinations, and here you see that I can also consider uh, the nonlinear uh, behavior of the structure and elements, such as uplifting uh, and so on. We may also run uh, steel design or, or steel check. There are two options. We can check all structural elements uh, uh, based on their uh, utilization and check that they are suitable for, for the standard requirements or we can run automatic design uh, that optimize the profile and the material of the steer bars based on the utilization. Now I, I start the calculation. In case of uh, linear calculations, only either statica will combine the result of load cases based on the safety factors. Uh, but now I check uh, uh, non-linearity also. And here you see that the program warns us 
that stability test also recommended uh, for slender uh, vine braces, uh, but I can skip it if I don't mind it. Here you see that the analysis algorithm, or calculation algorithm is very, very fast, even for nonlinear uh, calculations. In the last step, uh, we have to define which bar connections uh, or nodes we want uh, to design with ideal statica. I can go to plan view, for example, and I select these two uh, frame parts. How we just start uh, define joints, and there is a special command uh, to do that. We can use this uh, generate joint uh, command and just select uh, these elements. And then if I go to 3D view and I hide the physical bodies, you see the, the connections I would like to share with uh, Idea Statica. And that's all. Now the, the model is ready uh, for sharing. And uh, as I already mentioned, I can use two ways to share uh, the model. There is a so-called live connection or direct connection if both uh, programs are available on the computer, or I can use a dedicated file, uh, SCF in the background, if uh, two programs run on separate computers. Now I would like to show you the live connection. But before I, I start uh, the file sharing, I think it's, it's worth to speak about uh, how we can manage the data pairing uh, between the two software. So as I mentioned before, the data pairing is done on the FEM design side. Uh, we can use an Excel file for that. And uh, here you can see uh, in the column E that we can pair, for example, here you see the stair materials, here you see all the profiles match between the, the two uh, database. If you have uh, a new material or a new um, uh, profile, which is not available in the database of the two software, you can define them in the two softwares and also you should extend this uh, table with this uh, new uh, data. And I, as I mentioned before, unmatched uh, FEM design cross sections are exported with parametric description based on which uh, idea statica creates uh, the sections. Now I go back to FEM design and start the live connection. Just click on Idea Statica uh, checkbot command, select uh, the nodes I uh, created. And here you see that I can select which version I would like to work with in uh, Idea Statica. The, the connection detects what uh, version is installed on my computer. Now I use the latest version. And I can give a name for the Idea Statica project. For example, I use today. Then I press OK. And this OK uh, opens the uh, Idea Statica checkbot. And uh, it also shows the name what I created. So you are not able to modify the name. So this is the project name today. I typed before. You can choose a design code if you want. And with a single click on, on create project, we are here. And with connections, we import all data uh, exported uh, from FEM design. Here you are. So it exports the connections uh, I selected. As you see, here are the uh, profiles. You can check them under materials. So these are the profiles coming from FEM design. Uh, and recognized by Idea Statica, and here you see the, the material. And of course, you can also see the internal forces, for example, the MY diagram. I show it in wireframe mode and I scale uh, the result. Then I put it here, and on the other part, I put uh, FEM design, and I show you the results. Uh, I forgot to show you the utilization. So these are the steel utilization results of the bars. But here you see also the internal forces, for example, the same 
uh, diagram what you see in uh, IDS Statica. So for example, here you see the node 21, here you see the node 21, and the moment value is the same on, on both sides. And I would like to uh, show you the live update. So if I go back uh, to FEM design, and for example, I change, first I hide uh, the covers, I show you only the steel structure. So if uh, I select, for example, a column and modify the cross-section of this from eye shape to a closed one, I search for that here, I check this one. And I also modify, for example, the loads, for example, the snow loads you see here with one click, I select all loads and may maybe I double it. And what I need is to restart analysis, go to load combinations, press OK. Now the software do again uh, the linear and nonlinear uh, calculations of the whole structure, of course. And uh, when it is ready, here you see the steps that uh, it calculates the internal forces for the combinations, the non-linear, such as uplifting, check it if it's available or not. And then I go back to Idea Statica and just click uh, synchronize and it synchronize all data. So if there are new profiles, materials, uh, if uh, there are new uh, results and if you see the, the moment it modified and also if I turn on uh, the solid representation of the elements you see that there is the closed uh, session the same uh, section what we have in AFM design but you can also check it uh, under uh, materials now I give the word to Adam to, to continue how he can detail um, the connections in Idea Statica. Thank you. Yes, so now I'm back and you should see my desktop with Idea Statica opened and here I will just open the standalone checkbot application. It can be opened on your computer and I will now let's say simulate the the case where Akosh is uh, my colleague from different department he dealt or dealt with the global steel structure he designed it uh, analyzed it and now i am his colleague from steel detailing department and <laughs> my part is to uh, design and code check steel connections so he sent me this um sorry it's open here this file that's the second option as he demonstrated he generated this uh, xml file the ceph file and i will now use it uh, to open the data and uh, continue with the work so with the checkbot open i will uh, or i will use the same uh, same name as Akos, so let's call it today the project and with checkbot I can choose whether I'm dealing with steel or concrete project type and I can also choose uh, one of the eight national codes that we have incorporated in our software so let's stick to Eurocode and create the project this means I have a blank checkbot application here and I will call the SAF import and navigate to this file I showed you and this imports me the data. Now this import takes uh, half a minute so to skip this I have it already opened in another window so let's continue with this one and not wait half a minute when the data are uh, being processed so this is the same steel hole as uh, Akos showed you 
um, the customer project if I hide the labels of the members so we have better visibility this is the the two frames that Akosh imported as with, with the direct link into Checkbot and um, I can now continue the job so a very brief intro introduction to, to Checkbot what we have here uh, the import functions, a uh, few commands to show and hide labels for members' connections. These commands serve to uh, open, delete, reset the uh, imported nodes, which are represented by these cubes, and which list is on the right side of the tree menu here. So, for example, if I select this footing node, it's highlighted in the tree window and I can uh, work with it with these commands or by right click. What I can do on the right click as well is to uh, save this one only or multiple nodes like this into idea static connection file and send it even to somebody else only the connection files without the checkbot project. So this is also possible. Then what we have here, and this is important, the loads manager. Uh, what I have here, uh, the data imported from the FEM design, there are, uh, in this case, two uh, load combinations or load cases. And this is what is imported on the left side. And in the middle, I've got created one result class or one folder including these two so this is what's used for the analysis and code check in idea statica and i can of course modify this by uh, deleting one or uh, deleting the whole folder creating one so this is let's say the load manager yeah and here there is one thing i want to mention this uh, tick box uh, turns on or off uh, a special feature to evaluate critical effects. In other words, if this is on and you have a lot of combinations, maybe 50 of them, it will filter out and neglect those are, that are not dangerous, that has less effects than the, the ones that will be used. So this is some kind of automatic algo algorithm to filter out the uh, combinations or load effects that are not dangerous and that will just slow down the analysis and um, don't have to be used. Um, of course, you can control all of this, depends on you. So that's the load configurator. Then some settings to set the costs, pre-design function, fire design function, and so on. I will not go deeper into this. Then, of course, you can draw the internal forces. So if I select this one, I can choose if I want the load case or the whole folder, show me all the effects and click on one node. I've got the diagram of, um, in this case, MY moment drawn. Yeah, so it works like this. If I go back to solid view and scaling and choosing if I want to load uh, local extreme and so on. And these functions are here if, for example, you delete the node or you miss it from the data, you can add a node and build a connection based on the data of the members around it. So this is in the case you are missing something in the imported data, you can replace it. All right, so what do I do next is I will start with the connection design. So I will pick one of the connections. For me, the most interesting here is this connection because it's a frame connection with wind bracings as well. So that's, let's say, a challenging one to play with. So I select it and click open. Okay, so I've opened this connection. As you can see, that's the frame, the wind bracings, and the continuous beams on sides. And now my task is to design this connection and co-check it. So let's do that. This is the Idea Static connection application. And I can start 
with the first phase and does the modeling or creating the design. Well, as you can see, the geometry, that means all the members and its cross sections is imported as well as the load cases or load combinations. I can check here, I can see the numbers or the values of the internal forces. I can also check the unbalanced forces. This should be zero or very close to zero. This means we have equilibrium in the node, which is the basic law of statics, of course. So here I have a visual control if everything is all right. I didn't do any mistake or typo or there is something wrong with the data maybe. So this is always good to take a look at. All right, and now let's start with the design. So to do uh, or to create a design, we have a few options. We can start with the adding operations. This is the list of operations that we have in Idea Statica Connection. The first three rows produces, let's say, complex uh, operations. That means this produces, for example, an end plate. That means the plate, the ball, the welds, cuts of the members that are connected, everything at once. And I just um, modify parameters of the operation. So if I click on this and choose maybe uh, the default uh, bold group for this, I can see there is some operation created and I just change the um, the members and by choosing or modifying these parameters I end up with the design I want to create. But I will delete this one for in this case I'll show you another option. Another option is uh, by right click saying connect me this member to this member. This shows you uh, the connection library. This is a proposed function and shows you some possible, um, let's say, templates suitable for such a connection. And the third option is uh, to open the connection library as a whole and try to find a design that is suitable for the whole joint, for the whole node with all the members all together. Not one by one, not by adding manually the operations one by one, but doing this as a whole. I can see for this design, this configuration of geometry, this column beam, which is tilted to side members and these two wind bracings, I have no design here. I can try in this case to select only the members without the wind bracings, which is still somehow more often design. So I clicked by holding control on my keyboard, selected all the members, confirmed by spacebar or clicking on this icon. And I can see the connection library uh, found me one suitable design for this combination of members and their vectors. So I can apply this one, confirm which bolts should be used for all the connections and confirm this. So I can see now I, by using this connection library, there are six operations now added and I can see part of the connection is designed in one click. And I can just review the operations and what, what is uh, in the model now. So there is cut operation that aligns this column with the tilted roof beam. So this shapes me the, the frame corner. I've got the end plate, which connects the, the frame member with the column produces the welds of size of five millimeters, produces the bolts. In this case, I would like to use slightly bigger bolts, M24. So I just modify it like this and I can see immediately in this 3D scene that um, about the change. So I've got full control. Of course, I can do any other modification anytime. Uh, no problem with that. But I'm fine with this. Let me check what more I have here. This is the widener operation that produces me 
this haunch, which is also cut and welded. And what else is here? The stiffener on top of the column, welded on both sides, that's fine. And then we've got two fin plates to uh, connect the side beams here. Okay, one and two. So what I'm missing here is uh, to connect the wind bracings. So for this, I will use the manual operations. And here I will choose the connecting plate operation, something typical uh, for connecting wind bracing. So I edit this new operation. It tells me there is something wrong. This is just information for me that I need to select the correct member. So I click on this little arrow and select the wind bracing. And I already see some plate generated. So let me modify this even more. So this is related to or connected to uh, this member. If I select this correctly, you can see already that there is a plate with weld produced. Still, there is something wrong. It's because I've got a, a wrong or not suitable type of this uh, connecting plate. We have a couple of types here, a cup plate, double cup plate, notch plate, notch member. Uh, you can use it according to what kind of cross-section uh, you are connecting and what kind of design you would like to produce. So these are some, let's say, predefined options. So if I go here for this connection, notched plate walls, this means the wind bracing is now welded into a plate with a hole for the wind bracing. Yeah? I can switch the welds to be on both sides. This is better designed for me. And now I can start shaping the connection. So what I do is to use these parameters. So the thickness of the cassette plate will be eight millimeters. You can see it gets thinner and I will change its size to 300 by 150. Change the position of the connected plate, change its thickness to eight millimeters as well, and its shape as well, 110, make it slimmer, overlap is 100. What else? Change the thickness of the welds. I will keep the same weld thickness of five millimeters, in this case, all over the connection. I will leave the M16 bolts, and move a little bit the position of the bolt along the axis. So instead of 40, I will input 50. You can see the dimension in here. Okay, that's it. Now I would like to cut this cassette plate to have a nicer and more reasonable shape. For shaping plates, I can use via right-click editor of plates. And here I can shape the plate using uh, these operations. Or I will ignore this option now, use a different approach, and I can add a work plane operation and use it to shape the um, cassette plate. So I edit a work plane, I will position it uh, as for this member, T50, and move it along its axis to this place. And you see what I, what my goal is, is to cut this triangle of the uh, connecting plate. So to cut uh, the plate, I will call another operation, which is called cut of plate. And here I will choose this plate, connecting plate 1A. Uh, if I drag my mouse over any 
plate or part of the connection you can see in the left bottom corner of the 3d screen the information of the name the material and thickness so if i drag it to the end plate that's a different operation ep1 and so on so this is the easy way how to identify which operation it or i just click on this operation so that's by the way to inform you and so let's continue with cutting the plate so i'm um, i selected this plate and i will cut it by a work plane so i need to change the parameter here and it automatically chose the only work plane in this model which is the work plane number one and you can see that the cut is already produced okay this is looking better and what i will do is i will cut it even more so what i will take advantage of one existing work plane make a copy of this operation and only change its uh, values so instead of moving it along its axis i will move it a little bit down and rotate it by 90 degrees and have it right like this and you can see probably already my goal that I will use another uh, p-cut operation and just uh, choose the different plane and revert this cut to cut this off and leave this here in the model and this way I have shaped this cassette plate of this uh, connecting play operation good that's for the one and now I move to the other connecting plate again I can either add a new operation or copy the existing one because this is much easier for me it remembers the thicknesses and sizes and I can just modify it so for this one I will change the um, member from T50 to this uh, T11 and modify the parameters to fit the design so thickness is the same the size will be slightly different i made it a shorter plate here and i will also shift the connection towards the node and i will change the size of the connecting plate 70 is fine and 50 here so here it will be smaller and that's it for the connection and what i will do now is i cut this plate and weld it to the web of the column to have a let's say this welded by two sides so i will create another cut of plate operation select this plate select this member say i want a cut by surface of the member that will identify where the plate touches the the web of the column and cut the plate if i switch to transparent view to see uh, for you to see as well as produce the weld the weld will be five millimeters and on both sides okay the last thing here uh, is to use another work plane to cut this um, this triangle out so again i will create a work plane operation select member t11 and input the distance that i want to cut out the plate and use the p-cut operation so this plate by the last work plane operation and rewired which part is cut out okay so this way i'm done i'm finished with the design and uh, the last thing is that i will change the model type these diagonals they cannot take they don't uh, transfer transfer any moment 
and they work only in tension, compression, and shear force. So I will switch this and run the calculation. Now the finite element model is being uh, calculated and analyzed. It uh, calculates or analyzes all the loads and all load combinations uh, in the in the model at once. So this is of course um, depending or the, the calculation time is depending on how many load cases or combinations you are calculating and how complex the model is. So now uh, the calculation is finished for both uh, load cases and I can see the results. So in short I have a very fast overview. I've got the, the basic result displayed here. So all green uh, for plates, bolts, and welds, or so all code checks. Also, I have uh, the connection model colored. Green is good. If there would be something not passing the code checks, uh, that would be colored in a red. And if I move to the check and briefly show you the results and the code checks. Uh, so, for example, if I click on this bolt, it highlights me and opens me the bolt here. I can see the basic values of uh, tension force in the bolt and the utilization ratio in tension, shear, and combination. And if I click on this little plus button and maybe make this um, data bigger, visible, you can see here all the code checks as per code, as per euro code that is needed to perform for this bolt. This is the same for weld, and for plate, and for the results, I can also study the, uh, the stress distribution over the connection model, as well as to display the deformed shape. So I can uh, have also visual control of what's going on, how the connection is behaving, and I can react on this with my design, maybe stiffen something or even save some material somewhere. The last step is the report. So I generate it. I have also control what I want to have in the report, either to keep it shorter or uh, the complex. And I can uh, save the report in open format in doc or PDF or print out and hand it out to uh, authority or investor or whoever ordered it. Okay, that's it for the connection design. If I um, save this data, close it and go back to checkbot, you can see now that in the list the the connection is with green mark, that means is that it has been analyzed and co-checked with positive result. And I can see if I click on that, the design of it and the, the basic overview of the code checks. And this way I can continue with the other connections and design them one by one uh, to get the job done. And that was it for my part for the demo. And I'm handing over uh, presenter to Klaus now to hear about his experience. Yeah, thanks Adam. Uh, I guess you can all hear me and see my screen now. So yes. I'll just start explaining a bit about myself. Uh, as as Akash and Adam said, I'm a structural engineer as well. Um, and I just put in a few bullet points of, of kind of my interests. So finite element analysis, steel structures, automation, and uh, what I call structural sustainability. Uh, I currently work in, in Ramble, Denmark, in the Department of Buildings, Large Projects, uh, where we are sitting 35 structural engineers and technicians. Uh, and previously, I've worked in, in Arab and, and worked both in Berlin and Copenhagen. And a little bit about Ramble. We are an independent uh, architecture, engineering and consulting company owned by the, the Ramble Foundation founded in 1945, and currently uh, there are 17,500 employees uh, present in, in 35 countries. 
So I figured it was a bit overwhelming to to start speaking about global projects and all that stuff. So I wanted to I picked out a few projects that uh, are located in Copenhagen and and that uh, my department has actually helped on. The first one being the, the Opera House in Copenhagen, second one being the Mass Tower, and the third one being the Bella Sky Hotel, which we can actually see here from the from the head office in Copenhagen. Uh, I wanted to start off with just explaining how we in Ramble use uh, FemDesign today and then afterwards how we use Idea Statica. Uh, if we start off with, with FemDesign, uh, you'll see situ situations where we just model 1D members, do the design check, move on, or 2D frames, whatever. But uh, we'll also use it for larger mod models where we extract the analysis results and use that in in various types of verifications, uh, etc. And finally, of course, uh, we'll also have these these big models where uh, kind of using the true power of film design and and doing the design within the software itself. The the static uh, bullet points here are a bit more of a timeline. So we started with kind of designing very complex existing connect connections that might need it strengthening. Then we moved on to more complex connection design that are harder to solve by hand. And now what we're seeing is that this is, has transformed into a scenario where we are uh, doing generally many verifications of connections during the detailed design stage. Um, and although this is not part of the webinar, I, I just want to highlight that, that in this transition of using big models, a lot of designer connections is of course even more important that, that we uh, engineers pay attention to what we actually put into these softwares. So when I found out about the connection between Femme Design and Idea Statica, I got very excited. And um, I also had some thoughts that how I was expected this connection to work. And and these were my thoughts. I've split it into four elements. Um, see a lot of potential in the fact that the software will automatically handle forces and geometry of members. So Currently, there are several ways to to carry over information, but normally it requires some kind of manual effort, uh, and that could, of course, lead to mistakes in the what I put in load magnitude, sign convention, what did we actually use the critical load combinations? Are we using the right section sizes, member angles correct, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera. The link should ensure that this will not happen. Um, most importantly. There's a big potential for time saving for, for us as engineers. Maintaining models updates is not fun and it's not fast. And the link should be able to, uh, to help us out with that. Um, and then finally, I just mentioned uh, the potential of the optimization. So many, what, what we see uh, is that we, we kind of, when we do connection design, we often do very large groups of connections and we design them to an envelope design. So it's fast and it's always a conservative design. And by having this uh, with attention, of course, uh, there's a potential to, to kind of uh, optimize the way we work. So just a few pictures that uh, what we've learned so far. Uh, and um, as both Akash and Adam has already showed, the, the live force diagrams is it's something that we didn't know we needed, but it's it's really really uh, important. And uh, the the way that we can compare the two models, we can ensure that the connection is doing what we want it to, is extremely important. And then in the other picture over here, I I put in kind of the sinking model symbol that you also quickly saw, and it's to highlight how important it is that you consider what data you transfer, how much data you transfer between the two. Uh, otherwise, you end up with this uh, sinking model for a long time. Also, did you remember to run your model? Did you remember to press analyze and, and frame design? And have you saved your model before starting the, the synchronization? And then here I have a few videos, uh, and it's it's just highlighting how how cool I think the live updates is working through the checkbot. So. The first one on the left that we're seeing now, we're changing the geometry of the beam and we're changing the loads. And uh, just within a, a few seconds, I think, uh, yeah, we changed the we changed it from a HB 400 to a HB 700, and we also made a load update to the live load from 5 kPa to 10 kPa. And while um, 
while running the model, you, you'll kind of notice that the forces have updated accordingly, and, um, and it's and as well as the uh, as the as the members. So we'll see that right here, and it goes pretty fast, as you can see. So now the right radio starts. We have the HGP 400 again, exactly the same model, and I quickly go back into my FM design, and then I do the exact same change that we just had in the other example. But I want to go into more detail uh, about uh, the actual joint that Adam was so showing. So if we pay attention to how we define our joints in FM design and how we do our operations, you saw that Adam had a lot of uh, various options to do operations that actually does the same thing and in order to save time. But if you actually think about how you do it, you can kind of set up a parametrically defined joint that even if you change your member, the connection will follow with it. So you saw in the picture before that I have some, I had some stiffeners, I had an end plate that were all defined together with the member. And I also had my bolts position defined. And in this example here, which should uh, show in the second, you'll see how the, the stiffness and the end plate and the bolts are all following with, with it. The design might not work, but at least we don't have to deal with uh, any errors or in the connection design because we've changed the member types. And so let's just wait a second for that to come up. So you see that here, we have the stiffness moving with the flanges of the beam and we keep our bolt positions uh, defined by the, the flanges. <clears throat> so finally, I just quickly wanted to go through some of the next steps that I think we need to work on together. Uh, first one being how we make the tool even better, how we make pe more people want to use it. And with, with any other di digital tool, uh, stability, robustness, and speed is key. So the faster we can make it, the more people will start uh, using it. And then I think what we've noticed here is that uh, once you get started with the software, I'm sure people who are in this webinar who's used the software uh, end up with some typical problems while using the <clears throat> uh, the connection. That could be forgetting to re running the model, for example. And uh, I suggest that we we kind of set up some uh, some tutorials or something like that where we what to do in this situation where the, when this doesn't work. Secondly, I put in some uh, some about the future studies. So um, we need to, as engineers, we need to dare to use it. We need to just keep using it. The more we use it, the better it becomes. The more comfortable we feel with it. Personally, I like having case studies when even if when I do my FEMP design model, when I do my idea static care connection, it's nice to have some simple connections, moment frames, something like that. And then also you can test it out on the connections and you can have something that you feel comfortable with. And if you're comfortable with that workflow, it's easier to feel comfortable with uh, more complex connections, etc. And then I put in uh, automation because of course, uh, in my head, this shouts uh, to set up a workflow which utilizes the FEMP design API. And uh, we haven't got there yet, but I, I would suggest anyone who's up for it to, to start looking at it. Um, and then secondly, of course, although mentioning the optimization studies, it's it's nice to be able to bundle connections, have the same group, and then check for the same load combination still, uh, at least to not have to do all connections one by one. And then I put in projects because the finally the most important thing is of course how this becomes relevant on projects. And we, before we start up using it, we should consider uh, to what extent you see the benefits of using it is. And I think there's a lot of benefits, but it's nice to consider it before you start, how can we provide a better and faster solution? And just finally, when we start using it really on projects and it gets used by more and more people, the only way we can make it even better uh, connection is uh, to feed back to to both uh, Strusoft and Idea um, from from real projects, basically. So yeah, that's uh, it for me, and I'll uh, I'll just hand it back to Akash. Thank you, Klaus, for your presentation and your suggestions and the useful feedback. So let me give you a short, uh, a brief uh, summary. Although we are run out of the the design time. 
So thanks to the connection the model created and the calculation performed in FEM design provide valuable input for ideal static task. In addition to the steer by geometries and properties, the bar internal force results calculated from the load uh, specified in detail in FEM design are also transferred. So the data association between the two software is done automatically but under the control uh, of the users. Uh, in addition to the uh, entire structure, especially if it's a large or very complex model, only selected uh, connections and the data can be transferred uh, to checkbot. Data transfer is quick and easy with the dedicated direct so-called live connection or thanks to the easy to understand small sized but um, detailed SAF uh, files. In case of uh, the live connection, a single click synchronizes the changes in the FEM design model in the Idea Statica project. And finally, no additional software installation is required to operate the connection. Everything is included in the standard installation packages of FEM design 22 and Idea Statica. So in short, in one sentence, uh, the common development accomplishes uh, everything, providing a dedicated tool that accelerates the entire steer structure design and detailing workflow if FEM design and Idea Statica are used together. A detailed description of the developed connection can be found uh, on both uh, the StuSoft and the Idea Statica website. And those who don't uh, yet have one of the software can try uh, the collaboration workflow and functions introduced today with the three, three trial versions. The trial versions are full featured, so you can try uh, the other skills of the two programs uh, without limitations. Trials can also be requested in the survey that appears after the presentation, so please uh, fill out the survey. We are interested in your feedbacks. Of course, we are happy to answer any questions you may have or to help you with problems raising in your projects and tasks. You can send questions to our email addresses uh, shown here, or uh, you can also use GoToWebinar questions panel. Uh, maybe Adam picks a few of them that are relevant to everyone. So please, Adam. Of course, we will answer the rest uh, by mail. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe because we're running out of time or we are actually late. Uh, so, so just just one question. Um, there is a question uh, about updating or synchronizing the model. So it's either for you, Akos, or for me. So if you change the loads in FEM design and update the model sent to Checkbot previously, will the update reset the connection design that I have already done, or it will stay? So maybe I can uh, answer directly in short. Uh, no, it will not remove the design. The design stays. Uh, it only updates the changes. So it only changes the values of internal forces or changes the cross section of member. You're right. Thank you very much to all our attendees, especially to Klaus, our uh, brilliant guest. And Akos, <laughs> thank you for <laughs> hosting us uh, for these webinars under your wings of Struthsoft. And see you some next time. Bye-bye. Yeah. See you guys. Bye -bye. Thanks for having me. Bye.